Hello everybody, I have um, put together a 15 pole motor because uh, I was messing around with some stuff I thought well let's just keep adding magnets and see what happens and uh, while I was uh, messing around with this thing last night uh, I was just playing with the magnetism of this thing <clears throat> I wasn't running it on the circuit at all and this this, uh, with the magnetic action between the north and south as it goes over the coil, is creating a flip. And this thing is really, really close to, like, maybe being able to run itself only on magnetism. And uh, another, I was also playing with, you know, holding another magnet at, at different angles and stuff. And I, I bet if I keep playing with this thing uh, on that front... I could make this thing spin, you know, maybe really slowly, but I think it would keep spinning. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd show you that action. And uh, But this is the thing running at moderate uh, speed right now. I'm tweaking on it and stuff like that, but let me show you that action. Turn this thing off. So, just give it a little, little spin there. It works better on certain poles because not all these magnets are uh, the same strength. You can see that little whip that it does. Plus, I had uh, I had the coil a little further away last night, and it was working better. Right now, I got it set back up for charging but you can see that little 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 whip it does I'm gonna zoom in for you guys it's not showing it the best right now but <laughs> like I say I had this going pretty good last night let me zoom in Hope you guys can see that. Just flips it, pink. Like I say, I I probably had it maybe going about half half the way. And like I say, I was messing with a magnet, putting it here. It seemed to help quite a bit. You can see, and man, if you got this thing timed right, maybe adding a few more magnets, uh, I bet you, uh, I bet this would turn into a perpetual magnetic motion machine. Anyway, I um, guess that's all I really want to show you. Let me show you this thing, spin it up. I'll lower the resistance a little bit so it goes a little faster. All right. I like to get this thing going before I turn the switch because otherwise I get that oscillation immediately and it draws a lot of amps. I just don't want to do that right now, but I think that's enough. I'll just be quiet and let you guys watch. Zoom back out here for you. Earlier I timed this at rotating about 115 RPM. I 
don't know if you guys can see the ammeters very well, but you notice how this one's pulsing quite a bit. It keeps going up and down. And I used to try to tune the thing to where that would stay steady, but I think yep, I think we want that pulsing. I'm I'm hoping that's representing the pulsing that's going on. I got I don't have an oscilloscope. <coughs> excuse me. And so I really can't tell what's going on. But you can see it it fluctuates a good five milliamps or so. I mean, at least four on a three to four on a regular basis. It's still speeding up just a little bit. Anyway, guess I'll uh, cut it quits. There she, there she's running. So I wanted to just show you that magnetic stuff. All right, take care, everybody.